great. Now you tell me. I'm losing it. One of us is. Jeannie, try to pull him up. Ugh. I thought I was a goner for sure. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Jeannie. And for not being a carnivore. Up ahead, the city of Zara. Did they name the city after you or you after the city? It was named after my great-great-great-grandmother. So what do we do once we get there? We go to the palace and we find my father. We warn him that Rashid is planning something behind his back. Sounds good. Let's pick up the pace. Jeannie, can you go any faster? Wait, hang on, Max. We'll freak people out if we charge into town riding a dinosaur. But we can't turn Jeannie back into a card. There's an oasis nearby. Jeannie can wait there. Sorry about this, Jeannie. You're gonna be okay here by yourself, aren't you? Okay, let's do this! Yeah! Hey, keep that boat coming or else! Got that? You can't just take this! I don't have to pay for anything. What gives? Yeah, who are all those guys? They're acting like they own the place. Are they the city guards? Those aren't the guards. They're the bandits who captured me. Huh? But where are the real city guards? Hey, look! Zara, it's you! Does this mean we'll get a reward for saving you? No, because that's a wanted poster, Max! Oh, dare you! <gasps> Unhand me! Sorry, Missy, but I have my orders. Well, Rashid wants everyone from the old Sultan's court in the dungeon. Let her go! Huh? Zara! Well, if it isn't the missing princess... I've been looking for you. Rashid would like to see you. He's got a little proposal he'd like to make. Why don't you, uh, come along with me? Step any closer and I'll make you sorry. <laughs> you and what army? Huh, kid? Good job, Ace. Come on. It's time to run. You call yourselves bandits? Come on, chase after them. These posters are everywhere! Where are my father's soldiers? What's going on? Uh, how about we run now and talk later? Do you see them? I think they went this way! Search the alley! And you three! I need you to go and pick up my laundry! Sir! Yes, yes sir! sir. <sighs> go pick up my laundry! Go clean my camel! <laughs> Being a bandit isn't very fun. Shame! I look so good in a turban! It's the old lady! <laughs> Uh, hey, why'd you attack us with your dinos earlier? Yeah, that was really wrong. Uh, we wouldn't want to, I swear. We had no choice. Honestly, those 39 thieves made us do it. What's going on in the city? How come these bandits are, like, out of control? That's just the thing. The bandits aren't out of control. They're in control. They've taken over. Rashid overthrew the Sultan and took the throne. No. You mean the bad guys won? So then I'm too late. Tell me, where's my father now? You mean the Sultan? They locked him in the dungeon. That's horrible! My father made a prisoner in his own palace? At least he's got company. They took Dr. Z, too. Hey, when do you serve lunch around here? The poor doctor, having to sleep in some dark dungeon without his milk and cookies before bed. We didn't know what to do, so we told that guy Zaid that we'd join him. We figured if we became bandits, we'd get access to the dungeon and we could save Dr. Z. But that Zaid guy doesn't like us very much. He keeps giving us boring jobs like dusting the feathers of his pet peacock. I'm sure if we handed the princess over to him, he'd give us a promotion. Then we could save Dr. Z. You want us to let you take the princess? You've got to be kidding. Huh? That's not going to happen. I promise to protect her, and I am going to keep that crush on her. That what? I mean, uh, well, this just got awkward. Funny, I always thought Rex had a crush on you. On me? Don't be ridiculous. That's crazy. Oh, fine. Just keep the princess. All you kids ever think about is yourselves. Ursula, wait up! up! Stop right there, you <laughs> I thought I told you to pick up my laundry. We were just about to do that. We got sidetracked. Sidetracked? You didn't see the princess, did you? Well, how will we get out of this one? Speak up! Yes, sir, we did. She ran down the street right here. Come on, men. 
This way! <laughs> Whoa, that was a close call. <laughs> Wasn't that a delicious lunch, my little Montigans? Solar ripened mudworm simmered in comet seared chipotle sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the matter, little Brontikins? Stop, little Brontikins, don't you moan. I'm going to find you a Cosmo Stone. And when I've got that Cosmo Stone, I'm going to rule the universe alone. <laughs> Dr. Ancient's Cosmo Stone Radar has found a signal. Now to zero in on it. Where did it go? Curses! I will find that Cosmo Stone yet, no matter what it takes. What do you see now? Sand. Okay, what about now? Ugh, more sand. And, uh, now? Pretty much the same sand, and then more sand, and then more sand after that. I want that Cosmo Stone, and I want it now, Sheer! Yeah. The coordinates you sent me cover an entire desert. Can't the new radar we have get any more specific? Uh, you want this piece of worthlessness? Uh. Spectre's nuts if he thinks I'm going to search this entire desert. Those kids seem to have a knack for stumbling onto the Cosmo Stones. I think maybe I'll go back to that city and see if they have a better idea of where this thing is. Uh, uh, uh. What? What's going on? What do you want with me? Well, now, that all depends. I heard you and the others snuck out last night to do a little stargazing. Oh. They're everywhere. It's almost as though we're completely surrounded by them. Normally, your punishment would be severe. But I'm offering you a chance to save yourself. All you have to do is fix this radar so it can find a Cosmo Stone's exact location. What happened? It looks like the radar's been damaged. That's not important. What is important is that you fix it immediately and make it work as I have said. Otherwise, you and all your friends will pay a price most dear. Oh, please, your breath. It smells like some kind of overripe mudworm or something. Cards. Lots and lots of guards. Okay, first we hide behind a rock, then we get four of them to come back there with us, and then we come out from behind the rock, and then we'll... Oh, right! We'll be dressed up like the guards! I see that happen all the time in the movies. I think you guys are forgetting a step. The part where we have to take their uniforms? I think those big brutes would cream us if we didn't use our dinosaurs, which we shouldn't do because we want to sneak in quietly. I've got it! There's a secret underground passage that connects to a room in the palace. Wait a minute, are you serious? Yes, then let's use that. Yeah, where is it? I have no idea. Huh? I mean, I... Well, I've heard stories about it, but I... Well, I've never actually used it myself. <sighs> this would be much easier if I wasn't so hungry. I know, I can hardly think straight. Maybe we should go back to the market and grab some food. But what do we buy it with? It's not like we have any money. Oh, man, if we had just grabbed some of that treasure back in the cave, we could buy a feast! I could really go for one of those falafel thingies. What about you? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, sounds rich. I mean, good. Uh, you okay? <laughs> hey, you're hiding something, aren't you? No, I'm not hiding anything! Then get up and jump up and down. Huh? Go jump up and down. I knew it! I... I couldn't help it! I... they were so pretty! And I figured it wouldn't hurt to just take one! Except you took four? Well, I took one! Four times! I'm horrible! You're wonderful! You're the best! Oh, uh, thanks! Let's go eat! Look how much grub we were able to score! We'll never eat all that! If we don't, we'll take all the leftovers back to Helga! That'll get us on her good side for at least a day! Shh! Here they come! Let's get out of here before they realize that we're us. Come one, come all. Don't be shy. Behold the wonder. These lamps I have for sale are no ordinary lamps. They're magic lamps, home to your very own, all-powerful, wish-granting genie. Wow. What wish can 
I grant you today, my master. That's awesome! A magic lamp with a genie? I gotta get a closer look! If I don't get out of this awful place soon, I'll go stark raving mad. Listen up! If you guards don't let me out at once, you'll regret it! I'll unleash a plague of dinosaurs on you that will smash you to little tiny pieces! Sounds like that poor little man.